cool. We live on YouTube. What up, YouTube? Live on Facebook. Uh, yeah. Three, two, one. Excellent. Welcome, everybody, to this live video. Uh, it's steelhead season. It's like fishing is once water kind of comes into shape all around the north coast, there's plenty of op opportunity to be had, um, gosh, just all over the Pacific Northwest. And what perfect timing while I'm waiting for the waters to recede, uh, I've had a little bit of gear come in. Uh, some of you may know, but for the rest who don't, my background is uh, I kind of came to this industry as a steelhead and salmon fishing guide. And recently in the last year, um, I partnered up with Abu Garcia, Fenwick, Berkeley, and I've been really, really enjoying fishing their products over the last year. And I have a few things to put together now, uh, which they sent me. So I'm going to crack open some things and we can uh, check it all out together. And I have three boxes. One is clearly a rod box. One is, I don't know. I, nobody knows, only Santa does. And then this one could be anything. So let's see what's going on here. Try to keep my address. Hey, don't leave my address. Don't worry about it. Um, out of this, leave my address out of it. Um, and let's see what we've got going on. Oli, I have some very exciting things for you. <laughs> my dog loves popping these. Stick at the moment. Yeah, he's all about that bully stick at the moment. That's exciting. Um, hey, and then welcome everyone on YouTube. Handful of folks watching, super exciting. First up, boom, I have the Pen Fathom Reel. Um, let's just crack this baby open right now so you can see it. So this is a new low profile reel that I've been dying to get my hands on. This is going to be, this. it is so light. It, like these pen reels, all of these saltwater strong reels are amazing. This thing is so light, uh, 27 inches per turn. This is how you get things in in a hurry, my friends. I love this thing. I cannot wait to fish this. I love the look of it too. And these handles, oh yeah. I thought they were like those foamy, foamy ones, but they're not. They're a little, they're like really, really hard foam. So it's still nice and light. Um, oh gosh, that's gonna be fantastic. Boom, pen fishing, I'm about it. Okay, so let's let's tuck him in. He's not ready to come out and play yet. We're gonna tuck him back in. And let's see, no, I'll, I'll button you up later. You just hang tight. And then we have a few more boxes here. This one's gonna require a little bit more. Let's have a look. So when I kind of placed my order, I had salmon and still had in mind, but I also had bass fishing in mind. I had saltwater fishing in mind. You know, I've kind of, uh, I've kind of, you know, I started as salmon and still had guiding, but I've grown to really appreciate and love all sorts of fishing. Bass fishing being one of those things that is, man, really kind of captured me as of late. And, oh, perfect. I have some Max Pro spinning reels. So I have these, a few of these size for like trout fishing and that sort of deal. Cause again, I, I'm, I'm going on to different things, extra things, trout fishing, salmon steelhead fishing. Yeah, this is gonna be my little trout guy. Some good trout setups. I plan on doing so much trout fishing and camping and hiking and all of that. So I have a couple of these, perfection. That's gonna be great. <laughs> and these things are from Abu Garcia. All right, salmon so steelhead stuff, saltwater stuff, trout stuff. Let's continue on, shall we? Thanks for the thumbs up on these. Oh, uh, Spencer on YouTube says I have multiple pen level wines from the 90s and they still work after a bit of refurb. Absolutely bulletproof. That is such great feedback and so good to know. This box. I have a big box inside my big box. I know, it's very exciting. All right, big box and box stuff. 
I don't think this is reals. Sometimes if you smell them, you can, <laughs> if, it's, if it's some sort of like artificial, you can smell them. I'm just saying, it's, it's not weird. Oli is excited. He said, what do you have for me, mom? What do you have for me? Well, son, I'll be catching you a fish for dinner with my new fishing things. Perhaps, we'll see. <laughs> so remember when I was saying that I love salmon fishing, steelhead fishing, I love gear fishing, and I also love travel rods for fly fishing. Boom, these are going to be perfect for travel and taking everywhere with me. I have a couple of these guys too. Let's see what these ones are. So I may just have to pop it open here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Only one way to know. Oh, this is my, no, no, this is the um, conventional style rod. This is a travel rod that we can go and like take on a flight when that's a thing again, eventually someday. Travel size, four piece, the actual size of the rod here. So this is an eight and a half immediate moder medium moderate, immediate, I made that up just now, medium moderate size rod, eight to 28 pound line capacity. This is something that we're gonna be able to take and do a little bit of everything with, really good middle of the road travel size rod. And take a look at this like kind of newer design for the Fenwick Eagle. It's probably a little bit difficult to get the color to come through, but it's a really nice like matte, satin looking navy blue with that golden Fenwick emblem and a really nice emblem on the end of the rod as well. And I love that it's in four piece. You know, I might not use this one as much around here, but when I go on trips or, um, you know, over any, any sort of like plane ride, I can take these babies. I can fit this in a carry on. You just watch, I'll do it. I'm not scared. Perfect. Travel rods. Hold on, we go backpack camping. Oh, backpack camping. Yes. Because even though you don't need necessarily like something that's ready for a plane, you go backpacking up into the woods, attach that to your pack and just go. That's rad and a great idea. Okay, let's um let's go ahead and get into another box here. So there's another box here. Let's go. And everyone who's watching on YouTube, Facebook, wherever you're watching from, um, what's the last new thing that you got for fishing? Or what's the thing that you want next for fishing? I'm curious what you're using, what you're uh, intending on fishing for this season. Look, Ole, more. Yeah, get it. Oh, yeah. Pop it. Yeah, pop it. Yeah, good boy. Good stuff. So right away I open this box and I get just a tad bit of that sniff, the smell. Oh yeah, you can smell it. There's some, there's some definite Berkeley product up in here. Yes, okay. So guys, if any of you are perch fishing at all, if you're doing surf perch, these are the babies that you want. So these are the gulp sandworms and I get them in a couple of different colors, the camo, yep. The camo was one of my favorites. And I just have like, I think I have a pile of camo here. Okay, camo, 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 and camo. Excellent. So a full package of these. I am ready for all surf perch fishing. Oli, did you get them? Are you done? Yeah, I think you're done. So that's some Berkeley stuff. I don't think he's done. You don't think he's done? Did you pop them all? Hey, everyone's got a job to do and an unboxing and Oli understands his. That's excellent. Oh, cool. Uh, so mice tails. So another power bait product. Um, I love these that the scent holds on these really well. They're a great color. I'll use these for bass fishing and trout fishing. I have a whole package of these in here. Ooh, I can really smell that. All right, all right, you got it. Okay, buddy, you got it. Okay. Salmon and steelhead fishermen, let's talk about something. 
egg clusters by Power Bait. Now these are scented and they hold their scent really, really well. What I love about some of these Power Bait products is they show you different ways that you can fish them. So salmon and steelheaders, we know that, you know, we the ways in which we might fish these, whether it's, you know, on just a regular kind of bait hook setup, you thread this on. Even think about using it kind of like bead style. So instead of dropping a bead, slide one of these clusters down on your line. And then they show all of the other ways that you can kind of rig this up for bass fishing as well. So uh, super enhanced flavor, very attractant, great science behind these products. And the stuff, the smells stay forever. So I, I picked out um, a whole bunch of the fluorescent orange ones. And I think I picked out some others too, but we'll, we'll have a look here in a second. Moving on. Oh yeah, that's more Berkeley product for sure. I can smell it. Um, oh yeah, so my night crawlers, bunch of gulp night crawlers. What do you think I'm using those for? Obviously, trout. You have that case for my fly rod. Okay, Josh, so you're thinking, you're talking about the travel rod that I just had. Yeah, so when I busted it out, I'm like, oh, this is a fly rod. And it could be a travel rod, and it is in this case. So that was awesome. Tyler Black says he's shopping for a good gear vest. A good gear vest? Bringing out the vest. I like it. Couple of hats. Ooh, we have some party hats. Perhaps, uh, what was that? Should I give one away? Should I, give one away? I should give one away because I have one, two, three, and I have one head. Oli, are you going to wear one? No, he's not. So maybe I'll give one of these away. That sounds good. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll give one of these folks away. All right, stay tuned. We'll give some stuff away. I like that. Thank you for picking up, Bubby. Cool. What's next? You're gonna make me give these away if I show. <laughs> okay. Holy. More hardy hats. Look at the hardy hat design. I actually really like that. Yeah, I'm good with this. Super good with that. More hats, more hats. I'm into it. And if there's some party hats in here, what could be coming our way? Perhaps some party products? Perhaps. Berkeley, 100%. Oh, yeah. Some more of those mice tails, different colors. Love it. The smell is just, ooh, this is a big pack. I'm hoping this is some verms. Uh -huh. Oh, Lord. The general, my friends, for all my bass fishing things this summer. Couple packs of these. Now these are kind of like a in copper too, so it's like a copper and a chartreuse. Get it? Copper chartreuse. They look kind of like half oh. and half. Bubby, no worms for you. Why don't you come say hi? Come here. Come say hi. Come on. Look at they're right there. Say hi. He says, hi guys, I love new gear. I love new gear. It's the best, it's the best. Okay, hop down. Excellent. Okay. Oh, perfect. A couple uh, of the bucktail jigs. So I needed some bigger ones. In one of my earlier YouTube videos, I do some kayak fishing for rockfish and a little bit of a bigger jig so I could throw a big fat grub on it uh, was something that I wanted to do. And I have some um, gulp alive grubs to attach to this and it is deadly for rock fishing. Um, I mean, off, I did it off a kayak, but you know, whatever you go off of. So some more bucktail jigs. I'm hoping that this is either hooks or line. A wide gap hooks. Perfect. Wide gap hooks. And I have these. They You can't really see it too well, but it has like the kind of weed guard on it. So you kind of bend it down under the tip of the hook. And so you could have like your, let's say you put a wacky worm on this sort of thing and you're bass fishing. You can kind of like, you know, do it. It can do its thing while not getting too hung up in the weeds, which is excellent. Excellent. I have all the hooks. Hooks. Brian McGee Jr. says those jigs work good. Yeah, Brian, are you doing rock fishing? What are you using those for? I would imagine probably some sort of rock fish. And so if you take one of those bucktail jigs, and here's what I do. 
take a no, not this kind, but there's another box of bees that are grubs and attach that to the tail. Like it is stupid deadly. It is so much fun. But these gulp alive, a good saltwater bait. What I love about these is you can use them. These are these are the paddle shads, so you can use these. And when you're done with them, assuming you haven't caught all of the fish, which probably you have, and they're not all chewed up or damaged, you can throw them back in here and they will take in the scent again. They're amazing. So these are the black silver paddle shad and these are by Berkeley. Brian says jetty fishing, but I've also used them for large mouth. Okay, yeah. So I've done more jetty fishing in the last year since I've moved down to Oregon than I have in a long time. Um, that's been an absolute blast. I love it. Uh, so more jetty fishing in the future and more bucktail jigs. These are of different sizes. Um, so when I'm going off the jetty, I might use something smaller like this because I'm not, you know, out in the water and trying so hard to drop something down to the bottom. Um, but off the jetty, a good castable sort of deal. Those are great for that. And that bucktail stays together really nicely too. This is, oh, I have some leader. I have some fluorocarbon line. I have this an 80 pound, 80 pound, and more 80 pound. Clearly, I had some saltwater fishing on the mine. I mean, salmon and steelhead can get big, but shoot, this is definitely some saltwater stuff. So, lots of that. Exciting. Super stoked for all the saltwater fishing that I want to do this year. This feels like some more gulp. Oh, uh, yeah. More paddle shad. Excellent. What do you plan on using those for? Um, so I think when I got these, I had the intention on trying to do some like rockfish from the shore again. Cause one thing I was noticing when I was doing uh sea bass, black sea bass fishing from the jetty is if I cast out my grub and my bucktail jig setup and just kind of slowly retrieved it, that that was getting them to go sometime. And so I thought a cool paddle shad would be a great way to target some of those fish. So that's what I had in mind when I ordered those. Shit. Anderson says, try throwing those jigs at Tiger Muskie in Washington. I agree, Chet. Chet. Shh. Yes. Yes. Um, let's see what this is. I don't know what this is. It doesn't really say on the package, and there's a lot of tape. There's a lot of tape. All right. Oh, Tiger Muskie is something I want to do so badly, too. Dang gonna happen oh cool oh so these are the new little hit sticks uh trout and bass that's what i'm doing with these guys these are super exciting and a newer product i cannot wait to do those i have some of them and i have used them for bass i think these are more of the hit sticks oh yeah these are more hit sticks so these hit sticks come in a lot of different sizes which is super exciting um so again, what I have in mind for these is trout and bass, but I think they would catch other things too. Yeah, so here's some of the other colors that I have. Boom. Yeah, I think it's fire tiger. I mean, it looks like fire tiger. I think this one's called crazy steel. So, very exciting. And this feels like some more gold alive. Oh yeah. More paddle shed. Obviously, I'm kind of into this whole like rock fish game. I'm excited to do some more with that. And hit sticks. Either are they hit sticks? They sound like it. They sound like well, yeah, they're hit sticks. You win, whatever. Hit sticks, another color, rainbow trout. Super exciting. So with all of these, let's go ahead and get into rods. I don't know. Like 80 pound braid. I am not sure what I intended for that. I think you have 80 pound braid. Or someone was just like, here, more 80 pound things. That's exciting. Okay. Super sinking yeah, Aaron, in front of the fire. Why like when unboxing fishing gear, one builds a fire, obviously. No, it's, man, it's so cold outside. It's really, like a fire this time of the year feels so good. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, wrap. Ooh. 
Ooh, the new Veritas. That is super exciting. Two Veritas rods by Abu Garcia. So two Veritas PLX. I think these are both the same rod. Let me just have a little look here. Yeah. One in casting and one in spinning, which is great because I have some cool reels to go with that. But let me show you one of these. So they're both the same thing, but one is in casting, one is in spinning. So I'll show you the spinning setup that I have here. God, it's such a light rod. So a little bit about this one. Super light, super powerful. This is going to be my bass fishing setup. And a nice, like, certainly something I could use kayak fishing as well. Yeah, just even shaking the wrap off of it. Super light, super sensitive. And look at this design. I actually very much like the design. There we are. Veritas. So this is a seven foot rod, uh, seven, eight to 17 uh, pound line, uh, considered moderate, medium rod. Honestly, if you were to buy one rod, no matter where you live in the country, and you're going to do a little bit of all the kind of like fishing that you wanted to do, a seven foot medium action rod is like kind of that best all around rod that you can use. And I have one in spinning and I have one in casting and I shall use them both because both of them have their moments for sure. I think most of the time I would probably use the casting version, um, the spinning for pitching lighter lures and things like that, but I cannot wait to get this baby out. So I have a huge, here, I'll just show you. You wanna see this mess in my living room right now? I have a lot to clean up. I have some things to clean up. And yes, Zach, it is like Christmas anytime you get to unpackage some gear. So I am super stoked um, to try out some of my new things from Fenwick, from Abu Garcia, from Penn and Berkeley. Um, excited to wear some of my hats. <laughs> like I don't have enough hats, but now I have six more. Uh, and I can't wait to show you some of these things in action. If you have any questions about uh, gear or want any suggestions on gear for your type of fishing, feel free, comment in this video. I would love to help you as much as possible. Um, and in the meantime, if you get a chance, head on over to my YouTube channel, subscribe to it. We have a great steelheading fishing uh, video coming out. Lots of really cool things coming this season that I can't wait for you to see and I can't wait to tell you all about. Um, so I do need to, oh, I need to, uh, I need to give away a hat. Let's yeah. do a hat giveaway. So for the folks watching live now, totally eligible for this. And I know I didn't, I give no warning. I just kind of sprung this video up because I got a knock on the door from the FedEx guy. Um, but folks comment with your, the, the fish that you are most excited to fish for in 2021. And at random, we're gonna pick somebody from YouTube and from Facebook that will each get one of my hats, one of each. Well, one like one for Facebook and one for YouTube. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, send your comments, what species are you gonna fish for? And I will I will send you some of my goods because I like to I like to share the wealth. I like to share the fun. I like to uh, surprise and delight. And it's so much more it's much more fun when we can do that all together. Look at this, look at the very hey. Without rooting my house. I like this little like emblem in the bottom of the rod. It's kind of cool. This is a sleek looking rod. I mean, the design of this thing. And we have locking reel seat here. I love this. So again, here's that Veritas. Boom. Rockfish from my new Hobie Outback says Aaron Daniel. So steelhead bass haven't caught either yet. Oh, Daniel. Here's the nice thing about someone who wants to catch steelhead and bass. A lot of the similar techniques apply, very much so. Um, so bass fishers that are going to steelheading usually do really, 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 really well because they're typically very good casters and get the idea of dropping things right into a hole particularly like they do really well. And steelheaders generally pick up bass fishing pretty quickly. 
as well. So I think that you're not going to have any issue, Daniel. I'm totally rooting for you. There's what we got here. So I have so much cleanup and work to do to get this set up. Matt, will you go ahead and pick someone at random? Um, Actually, let's go ahead and end the video. We'll select someone. We'll give people a minute to comment. And then um, we're going to go ahead and, and select and, and I'll get in touch with winners from each and make sure that they get their hat. Does that sound good? Yeah. Excellent. I can't thank you guys enough for joining me for this. And I can't wait to bring you along on these adventures. So again, I will see you next time, hopefully using some of the stuff with fish in hand. And uh, we'll, we'll see you all soon. Bye.